Hi, I want to talk to you in this video about the difference in readings between this and this. Alright, see you in a bit. Hi, John Tisbury here. If this is the first time you've been here and you want to learn more about solar power, uh, Tesla power walls, uh, EVs, electric vehicles, that kind of thing, renewables, then click the, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell icon to be notified of new updates as and when I upload them. In this video, I wanted to just reach out really and get a bit of um, data from other people um, because I've noticed that since we had our smart meter installed in July of this year, that my variance between what my smart meter is saying in terms of the amount of electricity we use every day and what the Tesla Powerwall app says that we're using from the grid. I've raised it with my installer and also with Tesla and they're looking into it, which is absolutely fine. So they're aware of the, the, my particular issue and they've got all the stats to support that that I've given them. But I was interested to see if anybody else had noticed there was a variance between the two. So let me give you some examples. So what I do each day um, is I record uh, what the Tesla Powerwall app is telling me in terms of how much energy we pull from the grid. And then also on my smart meter, I have a little monitor here, which I can also pull up exactly each day how much energy we pull from the grid. So I do that um, a day behind and then record them on a spreadsheet which I have here. I'll bring that up on screen so you can see it. The two columns here, the first, the blue column is the power wall data and the red column is the smart meter data. And you'll see for each day, this is from 28th of August through to the 10th of the 10th. Every day without fail, the smart meter is saying that we've used more electricity from the grid than the power wall. And sometimes the variance is very, very small, the percentage difference is very, very small. Other times it's quite significant. So as I say, if you have a Tesla power wall, if you have a smart meter, I would really be interested to see if you're finding the same variance that I am. In sort of mid-August, we raised it with Tesla and they suggested the CT clamp was possibly the problem because I have the Tesla CT clamp and I also have the My Energy CT clamp and they were a bit worried that A, they were a bit too close together and in terms of the order of them um, from the, the meter, the My Energy one was before the Tesla one and the Tesla one wanted the priority, so it wanted to be first. So they suggested moving the Tesla one further up in front of the other one right out of the, the meter and um, separating them physically as far as I could, which I had done. And uh, that did actually improve things. It was a lot better after that, but there is still some variance. So let's take you through some, some figures here. Let's look at some of the, the, the days, which which is quite significant. So for instance, here on the 4th of September, the Tesla Powerwall said we pulled 400 watts from the grid, um, which is like you know nothing it, it, without would have been a day where we were 100% self-powered. However, the smart meter says we pulled 3.57 kilowatts, um, you know, which is, is a phenomenal difference. The following day is the same. Um, it would have been a very sunny day. So the power wall app says we pulled 300 watts from the grid. The smart meter said we pulled 3.28 kilowatts. Friday the 6th, 400 watts from the Tesla app, four um, kilowatts or 4.07 kilowatts from the um, smart meter. Look at some of the other days. It's a day where we've used a lot of electricity um, at random here. Let's pick this one, Thursday the 12th of September. The Powerwall says we use 35.5 kilowatts from the grid. And the smart meter says we use 37.4. So when we've got a high usage, they're a lot more consistent um, and um, there's less variance between them. But when we're on um, a day where it's sort of very high self power, there's a huge variance between the two. 
this um, chart doesn't show it, but the underlying figures. Let's just get rid of that for a second. Come on. The underlying figures are uh, worked out percentages. It ranges from anywhere as low as sort of 5% where we've got a high usage of electricity uh, on the day, the 5% variance between the two in favor of the smart meter reading higher to um, a really high, where's the highest one? 918%, so almost a thousand percent higher where you know, the, the, the smart meter is saying we've used four kilowatts when the power said we've used 400 watts. So I don't know what the answer is. Um, they're looking at it, they have had the data, they understand what the problem is now. Um, had a good uh, conversation last week, in fact, with the um, solar installer, so they're very supportive and very helpful. Um, but I thought I'd reach out wider um, to the, the YouTube um, community to understand if anybody else is having similar problems or if it is just a one-off and it is our setup that's um, at fault. I sort of factored it out. If, the, if we extrapolate that over the year and that variance, um, we're looking at sort of 200 quid. Um, in terms of what it's costing us potentially um, with what the power wall is underestimating that we're using versus what the smart meter is saying that we're actually using. And I don't know how long this has been going on, obviously. Um, we've had the, the power wall in since December um, 2018, so it could have been happening from then. It's only really since I've had the smart meter and I've been able to record day by day what the actual grid usage has been so I've been able to highlight the, um, the variance between the two figures. So yeah, that, that's it. That's all I wanted to share. So um, say not pointing fingers. It's something that's being investigated. So I'll be um, sharing the, the outcome of that as soon as I know a bit more about it. Um, but um, yes, yeah, so it was just really a reach out to see if anybody else had similar um, sets of figures or similar scenario um, as me. All right. Uh, take care and I shall see you on the next one. All right. Bye.